Good morning and greetings from Sri Lanka. Good afternoon or good evening, as the case may be, for all the colleagues who are joining worldwide. At the very outset, I would like to thank the organizers for APMEC 2021 for giving me this opportunity to talk on a topic that is very much relevant to the theme of APMEC 2021 and also to the current context. During this brief presentation, I'll be discussing about the role of Sri Lanka Medical Association in the nation's battle in controlling COVID-19. Sri Lanka Medical Association, established in 1887, is the oldest national medical association in the Asia Pacific and has been playing a leading role as the apex medical professional body of the country. When I was inducted as the 126th president of SLMA, my declared objective or the vision for 2020 was professional development for quality enhancement in healthcare. However, this was solely based on my interest as a medical educationist. During this time period, we didn't have much idea about how challenging 2020 will be. COVID-19 was just appearing in the news lines. However, within short time, SLMA realizing its national responsibility, started contribution towards the professional development related to COVID-19. The first national seminar on COVID-19 was organized and conducted on 30th January, 2020. That was even before the first Sri Lankan patient was detected. This national seminar attracted very high interest because during that time period, not many were aware about COVID-19. As you may see, even though there is not much physical distancing, there was the historic auditorium, auditorium of the Sri Lanka Medical Association was filled to the brim and beyond the capacity because everyone wanted to know about, know about the COVID-19. Because of the lack of space, we had to go for the online webinar feature also. We are about more than 1,000 health professionals joined this national seminar and gained and improved their knowledge and understanding about this incoming threat. Soon after, the Sri Lanka Medical Association, through its news magazine, started to provide and share knowledge related to COVID-19. With the first magazine issued in February, with the theme COVID-19, I will ready to face it and provide invaluable information regarding the virus and also on the preventive measures. Subsequent news magazines of the SLMA were providing information about different areas such as risk groups and the stakeholder involvement, the multi-stakeholder involvement in COVID-19 control. Based on the success of the first national seminar and the webinar, since then, SLMA has conducted a series of webinars based on breaking the transmission of COVID-19 through community engagement. And several resource persons representing several disciplines and multiple stakeholders participated as resource persons sharing their knowledge and experience. One of the most important related to medical education was an online Dean's Roundtable held in the first time in Sri Lanka to discuss the future in medical education and how we can adapt to the new normal. And this was later converted into a newspaper article and also a historic journal article featuring all the medical deans in the country discussing how the medical education can adapt to the new normal. The anniversary medical congress that's the main event in the calendar of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, was again based on quality enhancement of healthcare beyond COVID-19. And again, considering the new normal situation, this was conducted as an online hybrid conference, one of the first in nature during this time period, with several resource persons representing Asia Pacific and many from Singapore as well, discussing how we can improve the healthcare beyond the COVID-19 pandemic, how can we face the new normal? And this conference has all the features of the conventional annual conference with all the academic activity, activities, orations, 
so on and so forth with Dr. Dujipa Samarasekar, who is the chair of the APMEC 2021, being the guest of honor. And as you can see, even though it was online conference, all the features, including orations, plenaries, social activities were incorporated into this conference. Therefore, it was considered as an academic conference in the new normal. Beyond that, SLMA has providing information and expertise that has led to several newspaper articles and empowering the general public as well, discussing about different aspects of COVID-19. And there was a series of newspaper articles providing information to the general public. We have been using the social media extensively during the COVID-19. The SLMA Facebook page has been a leading social media resource material for those who wanted to get information about COVID-19, providing information in all three national languages. It has reached wide audience and sometimes the reach for one week was more than 100,000 in most of the times. And it was the same for other social media pages for the SLMA as well. So this was kind of a renaissance period for social media and in a way it was a blessing in disguise where we were able to reach the general public in a big way through social media providing timely and accurate information related to COVID-19. SLMA has been playing a major role in advocacy also. For example, when there was a dilemma in selecting what was the appropriate diagnostic test, we have provided up-to-date information and expertise and suggested RT-PCR should be the diagnostic test for COVID-19 in Sri Lanka. And since then, related issues like vaccines and other areas, we have been providing the high-level advocacy. And also, SLMA was able to bring all the academic medical professional colleges, which were at very high expertise level and powerful, under one umbrella body called Intercollegiate Committee, and therefore providing the expertise to the Ministry of Health and the government in Sri Lanka, government of Sri Lanka, uh, in a very effective way and in a very evidence-based manner. SLMA has been providing a leading role in national activities during this time period. For example, Sri Lanka Medical Association was called upon by the Elections Commission to provide their expertise to plan out a COVID-free election process which SLME has successfully managed and contributed to the national election process. And this was again was given much recognition and publicity. Later, when the COVID second wave appeared in September 2020, SLME has again provided the support to the Ministry of Health and Government through field activities, providing expertise, regarding management of patients and also how to establish treatment centers for COVID-19 patients. And when there were certain clusters appeared, we started providing our research expertise. And uh, for example, there was one cluster that was appearing in the national fish market. Again, we conducted a survey and found out the reasons uh, based on the expertise that was available to us and provided our recommendations and guidelines on how to manage the situation. We have been working in collaboration with several international organizations and one leading was the Asia Pacific Academic Consortium Public Health because this has been a public health problem and we have conducted several public health conferences in collaboration with them and most significant one was the APAC 2020, which was conducted in Sri Lanka in December from 5th to 9th. And it was conducted as one of the first ever medical conferences to be conducted combining physical participation, video conferencing, then uh, with a virtual and augmented reality with participation with leading resource persons, including Sir Michael Mahmoud and Prof. Srina Threddy. All these activities we were able to, we were able to develop a huge amount of high quality educational material. The VED, the SLMA YouTube uh, at the beginning of 2020 with only 68 subscribers and 20 videos was expanded into 500 videos with over 1000 subscribers. And 
all this material were incorporated into the SLMA CPD portal. And now we are in the process of incorporating this material and the resources into the national CPD framework. So in essence, during this very challenging time period, SLMA has rose to the occasion and faced a challenge and very much in line with the conference theme of APMEC 2021. The challenges due to COVID-19 have actually become a blessing in disguise for promoting the innovative use of technology in medical education. And national medical associations have a leading role to play in this paradigm shift. Tomorrow has arrived. Thank you.